Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's G from Happiness and Crafting So today I have got a really really simple um, total scrap video for you um, Really really easy, I'm just making some lovely envelopes, really basic envelopes Now these are made out of Amazon packaging because I have lots of this um, So I thought it's about time I used it up so these are really simple. I've made one which has got some fabric on the front, some little scraps of gorgeous fabric. This one is a, just a plain one and this one has a little window in it. But what I've done, I've gone around the edges, I've sewn around them um, and I've just picked the different stitching that I have on my machine. Now I have a really, really lovely sewing machine um, which was gifted to me by the lovely Susan a couple of years ago now. Um, and look, it's got some beautiful stitching and I don't use it enough, um, the different styles. So I thought I'll go around this, just to give it a little bit more interest. So they're not just um, boring little envelopes. And look at that, it's got a lovely little squirrely whirly stitch on there. And look down there, a little bit zigzags and all sorts of things on there. And I just think it gives it a little nice little bit different on there, doesn't it? So these are really simple and I thought these would make fabulous little um, envelopes if you send lots of happy mail out. Um, you could just pop something that you've made in there, tie a little bow around it um, and send it off. This one has just got like a little vellum pocket in there um, which is simple. I'll show you how to pop that pocket in. Not the pocket, the window I mean, not a pocket. I don't know, it's been a long week and it's only Wednesday. Um, it's been a bit of a tough week with mum this week so um, I haven't had a chance to get up into my craft room so I thought I'd do a nice simple easy recycling one. Now the paper that I have from Amazon I've got this one which is a really sort of like crinkly crunkly one and it's got like um, perforations down there so each piece gives you about um, I think it's seven and a quarter inches about seven and a quarter inches or what's that in centimeters 18 and a half centimeters so um, I'm just using a piece like that so just tear it down all I th I'm not sure whether everybody gets it around the world the same um, packaging or not and then I've got the little plain one sometimes you get the brown paper and sometimes you get the plastic don't you the little bubble things that you get so what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop that on there because I'm taking one of each piece, pop that down there and I'm just going to tear that down like that, just so we have two pieces, oh, not that I'm doing it very well, there we go, just like that, okay pop that to the side and then what I'm going to do I'm just going to take that and I'm just going to glue that onto the top simple simple and that's just because this is too thin separately they're a little bit too thin but together they're really nice it gives you a really nice sort of like um, thickness to it now don't worry about the bits if you've ripped it so I'm just going to go across it this is just my glue stick now, excuse my fingers, look, they're a bit grubby because I have been having a little play um, with some, I got some of these Lindsay, Lindsay, Lindy's um, inks, which are really, really nice. They're nice shiny ones. So um, I've just been having a little play with those. Um, I'm going to use them in a mixed media on Sunday. So I'm going to get back to my mixed media Sundays as well because I do enjoy doing that if I can um, it's a little bit difficult at the moment as I said with mum so I'm just trying to get up here and do some simple simple little bits like that so I'm going to just stick that on there easy peasy like that and what I'm going to do Get rid of that gluey bit there. I'm going to take this bit, which will be the inside bit. I'm just going to turn that over just to reinforce that sort of pocket bit. And then you can put this up as far as you like. 
so that comes down and then that's your top flap so you can bend it um, up as far as you like and then this piece comes down like that so look at that we all know how to make these sort of envelopes but um, I just wanted something simple and easy today something nice to make now what I have done if you can see it's sort of like got a shiny surface to it um, on here because this is sort of a bit matte I've got some of this now I bought this this is just like a shoe polish and it's a clear one um, I just use this to um, clean my leather bag um, just to give it a little polish now this was like a euro in it's just a, um, a supermarket brand um, and I thought I would use it on here to see if it would seal this and it's really nice it's given it a really nice surface um, I don't think it will probably make it waterproof but it might if you give enough layers on it but I've just put one on there um, so I thought I would try that out it's not smelly or anything which is good um, so it's something different isn't it to use I know lots of people use shoe polish um, to you know like ink ink your edges with shoe polish but I've never really tried that so I'm going to just stick this down I like that one because that's the little lip we don't want that popping up like that and now what I'm going to do I'm just going to pop to my sh machine and just go around shall I do that or shall I pop a window shall I pop a window in this one shall we see let me see now how I did that for the window in the other one I've got one of my um little cards like this and I use that as a template on there so I might need that just a little bit higher like that let's just do that one just a little bit higher that's okay and we can pop that on there so what I did I pop that on there like that then I get a pencil make sure we are reasonably level and I'm just going to go around this whoops just draw around it like that as the template and then I'm going to score these lines because it will make it easier because I like to fold my mine in and that's a bit too big where's my other ruler gone there it is there it is so I'm just going to take my little ball tool like this and I'm just going to go around those little lines like this and then score it just like that there we go okay perfect now I need to cut this out so I'm going to take that take cut a little hole in it and I'm going to go corner to corner now we did this with the envelopes for the Friday freebie if you can remember if you've done that one of the Friday freebies anyway so I'm going to go around here just to each corner just like that this is such an easy way oops, to cut out an aperture in anything so go from corner to corner and then I'm just going to cut these bits out because these are the bits that I'm going to these bits are left that we're going to turn over like that if I can pick it up Perfect. So we don't need those little bits. Let's throw those away. And then it makes it easier just to turn these bits over like that. You have like a little fold line then. And it gives you a really nice, neat finish. Um, so it gives it, it makes it stronger as well. Instead of just cutting it straight out. Less ripping. 
So let's just fold these over like that. Around here. Okay. Now I haven't inked any of mine or anything like that, but again, you can, it's entirely up to you. So look at that, that's perfect. Now, of course, you can put whatever you like in here, in this little hole. You could even pop um, like a little bit of mesh fabric or something like that. That's not big enough, but you could, if you know what I mean, you could pop something under there, couldn't you? And sew it on, which would look really nice. But I'm just going to use this because I have this spare piece left. So all I'm going to do then, let's just lift these up a little bit, pop a little bit of glue down. Just pop a little bit of this just around, just to stick these down like that. Stick that down. Okay. Now again, these envelopes, if you wanted to um, stamp on them, Colour them, you can do whatever you like on the outside of them, but I just like the brown. I'm quite into this with like the brown, and I think it looks really pretty just with a little hint of sort of like a colour on there as well. So there we go. So that's stuck, I'm hoping. Pop this down, pop this one on. And then we can just stick that on. I think I'll probably stick that down with a little bit of glue stick. And just wait for this just to dry a little bit before you sew it on your machine. If you're not if you don't have a machine or anything, obviously just stick this down um, with some glue, but make sure it's stuck down properly. So there we go. That can fold up like that and then we've got our little pocket. Shall we add a little bit of fabric to this one? Shall we have a double one? Shall we have a little bit of fabric on here as well? Now I've got lots of little bits and pieces here. I've got my little pot of things. So let's have a little bit of this, shall we? Let's cut a little bit off. Just like that, stick that this side. Doesn't matter if it comes down over there, I don't think. Shall we have a little bit of this? So you can use up your little bits of scrap. You can actually just pop your scrap paper on there. You don't have to use fabric. Now I'm just going to stick this down as I go. So I'm going to use a little bit of fabric check for this. Just along here. on because obviously we want everything on there before we start sewing around it let's get the glue coming out bits of fluff let's stick this on there we go what else shall we have oh look there's a little bit of purple I do like purple there we go take that off Oops. It doesn't want to disappear, does it? It's stuck to my finger. Let's stick that on there. Okay, what else can we have? Let's have another bit. We put this one on the other one, didn't we? We want something a little bit brighter, don't we? It's a little bit of pink. Let's have a look. I like the... Um, scruffiness of the cheesecloth on these look at this i must have dyed this with something at some point pop that over the top so maybe i'll wrinkle it up a little bit pop that down and then what i can do i can pop what i did on the other ones once i've sewed this on i added I stuck down some of the rose trim on it because I didn't I didn't sew through that on the with the sewing machine. 
what else have we got let's see is there anything else that we can use maybe a little bit of this added in there just some bits and pieces I need a little bit of lace I think I need some lace on here let's cut that off a bit too thick so I don't want it too thick let's just wrinkle this up take that piece off stick this on and then I'm just going to go and sew around it stick it this way a little bit of this on top oops then I will stick some little bits on there I'll stick something on the shall we stick this on over the top okay so what I'm going to go and do quickly is sew along here I'll get some funky stitching I think on my machine so I'm going to sew around this one as well, this little window, just with a um, just with a straight stitch around there, um, and then along there. So I'm going to sew it all together, and then I'm, actually, what I thought I might do, I'm going to change my mind again. I was going to put a little pocket on the back of this one. So shall we take another piece of this? Because this is the same width, so. I'm going to fold this in half, I think. Yes, I will. I'm going to put another pocket on there. There we go. So I'm going to stick that on like that, I think. So we've got another pocket. Actually, it's a different colour on the inside. Let's go for this one. Let's fold it this way and glue it like this glue that together and I thought which way round I'm going to just put that I might put it up that way because I will sew the top and then I've got a pocket on the back so I'm going to bend this a little bit over I think just so I'm going to sew that. Should we have a little bit of something along there? Should I just pop a little bit of lace down there? This doubles over. That looks quite pretty, doesn't it? What we got? What colours did we have on there? Yes, that will work. Decisions, decisions, isn't it? Let's pop a little bit of glue down here. Make sure this is all stuck together properly. Like that. Okay. And then I think I will probably just take this to machi the machine a minute and just quickly sew that. Let's just chop that off. So two seconds and I will just pop that on there. Okay, so there we go. I didn't sew that very well. It's a bit wibbly wobbly. That's okay. Let's chop this little end piece off. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pop that on there. I think that looks really nice. So we've got an extra little pocket at the back. Make sure I am at the back. So what I will do, I'm going to go over to the machine now. And I'm going to actually, oh, let me just stick this down. Let's stick this on so I don't forget to sew it on because I have to sew the front piece first. I won't bother sewing, sticking the bottom bit. There we go. So that's stuck on there. That goes on over like that. So that's lovely and then we've got a lovely extra little pocket at the back so that looks lovely so what I'm going to do I'm going to first of all sew around my little window before I sew everything up 
sew along this bit and then I will go around the whole thing so I will be back okay so there we go I think that's come out lovely I love it so we've got the lovely window we've got the lovely little scrappy fabric bits on there and I've got the little pocket at the back which looks great shall we cut these little little bits off like that we don't need that piece on so love it it's that simple really really simple um, and what I've done look at this stitching fabulous right? there's like little stars on there I've just done a normal um, stitch around there um, but I'm loving all this stitching on here it's just fabulous isn't it love it so I think it looks really really nice it just adds a little bit more interest to it so what I'm going to do I'm going to show you how I applied this so it's really really simple so I'm just going to open this up take a little bit and it just goes on like this let me just pop this underneath and I think it just might just coat the paper it doesn't make it sticky or anything because obviously because it's leather it can't make it sticky and needs to soak in um, so it soaks in the same on the paper which I just love and just leave it for a bit to dry and it gives you a nice little coating on there I think it might just sort of like um, protect the paper just a little bit I think but it's something a little bit different to pop on there if you have some now I'm going to just take this and put that back in there look because I'm not sure what it will do to the um, vellum window don't really want to get this wax on there oh yeah I have already oh it hasn't really done anything that's good let me just get something to wipe away from this oh, it hasn't marked it at all oh that's good to know okay so there we go pop that on there polish it up pop that in there whoopsie daisy this is like really really cheap if you get you can get really expensive ones but it, if you're going to just use it for crafting stuff then i don't think you need to buy anything that's too expensive just buy the cheap brand the own normally the supermarket brands are a lot lot cheaper aren't they so just pop that on and it just gives it a nice little coating and it makes it feel almost leathery which I love look at that doesn't that look nice really really simple so I've got this one what did I do with the rest we have this one here so and these two so this was my first one so that's just a basic one but again it makes it feel really nice that wax um, they are lovely so you can pop all sorts of things in there like I said you can pop your um, bits of ephemera in there a lovely little um, happy mail gift on there and it's recycling and we love our recycling and look at that little bag a little bag a little pocket let's just pop these in there look at that fits lovely so mine have come too so this one that I've just made measures wasn't it so that was seven nearly seven and a half actually by um, 18 and a half centimeters and then that is 16 and a half centimeters or six and a half inches which I love it and the little pocket I popped on there was just over three inches three and a quarter inches or eight centimeters and that's just got a little bit of lace on there which is fab. Shall I stick a little bit of, I do like my rose trim, pop a little bit on there, two, four, six, so I'm going to put seven, I think seven little roses. So we've got a nice, I have been doing the Friday freebie with Andy, um, so we have a little bit of a prettier one this week, so if you like your pretty, a little bit different so we're going to have because it's it's sort of valentiney 
isn't it coming up soon so it's not really valentiney but i thought i would do some prettier bits and pieces um oopsie daisy so watch out for the friday freebie this week there we go so look at that just adds a little bit of prettiness to it doesn't it there we go oh gosh i suppose you could probably put some lace or something even if you had a little bit of rose trim around the window but no i'm gonna leave it like that so there we go guys that is a quick and simple um little recycling project scrap fabric and some good old amazon packaging so there we go guys simple but really lovely so thank you so so much for joining me um let's have this one so we can see the pretty ones on the top shall we thank you so so much for joining me please take care stay safe and have a lovely rest of the day all right guys bye bye